Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. There are a lot of breaking changes, new additions in Angular 17 that as a developer we need to upgrade our knowledge. I am covering everything you need to learn and master Angular 17. This is part 34 of the series. Today we are learning about built-in pipes. In the last episode, I gave you a walk down of what is pipes and I hope it's clear about the theory. Today we start coding, all right? But before we start coding, a quick recap on all the built-in pipes that are available. We have the date pipe, we have the uppercase pipe, lowercase pipe, currency pipe, decimal, percent, JSON, slice, key value and async. These are the 10 built-in pipes that are available for us to use. All right. This is a small description of what each pipe does, but I believe in less theory and more coding. So we will do hands-on and we will learn all this in real time by writing code. Let's get started. All right. So I am in my Angular project and let's do one thing. First, let's generate a component and let's call it um, ng generate C built in pipes. All right. So this will generate a standalone components. You can see here I'm going to open my app routes and throw in a route for this particular component. And the reason I'm doing that is so that you easily follow and learn things built-in pipes and map the component built-in pipe component all right that's all we need let's fire up our application ng serve if you're new here make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for always supporting me all right so built-in pipe works all right so we got the route we got the component let's go ahead and add all the built-in pipes that we know of. All right. To start with, first, let's do a simple thing. In this component, I'll define a variable and let's uh, just call it today. And it's of type date and we can say is equal to new date. Okay. Now, the, why do I need this? So that I can show you the date. Okay. So let's do a H2 and say date pipe example and here let's use that and create a output using the date so here I'm going to write and in between double curly braces now you know why we write double curly braces if you're following this series you know that we are doing that because it's an interpolation that's what we have learned earlier all right so this is giving error let's see why um, it says built-in pipe uh, no pipe was found by the name date okay let's go ahead and check uh, what did we miss did we import uh, built-in pipe and date is fine what did we miss uh, that oh okay because we need to import this the common module inside all right so now it's good okay since it's standalone I was see this is what happens when you are moving from 16 or previous versions all of this are by default in those app module but if it's a standalone module you need to import it into each uh, component that you're working because they are standalone right so now it's done let's go ahead and it is showing the formatted date which is since I said today it is showing date and it is showing June 25 all right now let's modify this into a something different output so I can say paragraph and again I'll say today and I'll pass a parameter to this and we can say a shortcut close this and now oh, why is it showing this short date not shortcut all right so now it is saying it is showing 6 25 24 okay and we can also show um, mm yy let's see 
so now it is showing 03 2024 right now you can also mention capital D um, DD MM Y Y Y so it is showing 25 03 2024 so there are different options with date pipe that you can customize right I'm showing you three things but we have a lot of things to cover so let's keep moving with the built-in pipes the next example I'll show you is the uppercase so I'm going to use a text string and let's give it and say arc tutorials and in the template let's throw in another h2 and say text pipe uh, uppercase pipe example and here again I'll use a pipe and this time I'm going to say text slash here we can now mention uppercase or lowercase all right so now I'm using uppercase so everything will become uppercase if I say lowercase so now everything is lowercase right so this is second example of pipe third let me show you currency pipe all right um, same way we'll need binding and let's throw in a comp uh, a variable here and let's call it a um, simple thing right it's a number so you can say amount or tax or whatever you uh, like to call it number equal to um, say one two three four dot five six seven eight whatever and here I'm going to bind and say amount is currency pipe okay now in currency we can have multiple options of what to display now see it is already automatically adding dollar sign in front now we can customize this just like date you can pass some params and say USD and it is adding dollar sign now you can say INR and now it is showing rupees here if you see Indian rupees right so you can mention the currency EUR is for Europe so here it is showing euro <coughs> so this was currency pipe do let me know which country you're from and what's the currency there the next I'll show you is decimal pipe this is extremely uh, useful especially when you are doing mathematical calculations and all of that it's it will be very handy all right so we'll need a simple variable again uh, let's say percent uh, well and it is of type number again but now now the number would be 0 0.67 something all right and take this variable put it inside double curly brace that and we are saying it's a decimal right um, so okay so we call it number and now it is showing 0 0.672 but we have the option of how much we can customize this so if I will say number and I want the format to be one say dot two minus 2 so see now it is rounding off to two uh, decimals right so if I say 0 0.672 now right if I make it dot 1 it will only show 0 0.67 and here you make it 3 and you make it 4 it will keep on increasing so if you want the number of decimals 1 to 4 so you can say how many you want okay so if you say 3 comma 4 it is still the same all right okay so that was decimal <coughs> that was decimal uh, same way you have percentage uh, let's see that percentage pipe I am moving little fast because there are too many things to cover um, okay I think I give percentage value here but we'll use the same one if we want here um, same way just like number I can use the percent val also for the percentage and 
these are all pretty simple basic stuff um, you can easily um, get that in place again if you see it's just adding 67 percent and pass the same values that we passed earlier one dot um, say two dot four two to four or uh, two point two whatever so now it is showing 67.23 right so basically all this built-in pipes are to format the data if you see we are not doing any logical thing in our class everything is happening in the template right there are many many options for a uh, pipe so make sure that you dig deep but this should be a good starting point for you i'll give you one or two more examples of json and others before i leave you today so say json val is of type object and which is equal to let's give a name and say name uh, our tutorials um, uh, say version say one and take this json value and print it in the ui so i can say paragraph and json value put json right so now you see it is printing like a json okay it's not printing like a object it's printing like a json okay that's the most important thing that it will retain the formatting else if you just print it it may throw you an object right it will not display the value but if you want to display the value of a json as a json object you can use this pipe one of the most helpful useful especially when you are implementing a debug or something like that uh, there is slice pipe um, let's see that as well so for the slice i'm going to have an array and say my array is of type array and then we'll give a value to it okay or you can have a num um, say particular string or whatever array you want to have right uh, some values that i'm assigning to an array which is of type number and in the slice we can mention here that my array now i want to slice it so we can pass what is the value to be sliced now here i am saying slice one two three okay now see the output if you if you can see it is showing two comma four i'll move this to the top so that you can easily see it so i'm moving the slice to the top so you can see one comma two because in our code we are saying zero one two right so cut it at two you can see here i'm saying three three is the starting will be the index right so zero one two okay so three is the one starting with one take that so it will not take the first one okay now the last that i want to show you is a key value again this is something that um, you can easily bind it and get the data out okay um, let's do that also and let's create an object again and say my object um, let's um, initialize this uh, as a key value right um, so we can specify and say key which is of type string right uh, the last thing we'll need is to bind it so we can do something like this and bind it here and say this entire thing is a string okay and let's initialize this value and here we can just mention say first one and comma second uh, and so on and so forth right so basically it's a key value pair now first and the value is one this is the key this is the value so how do you use that i'll show you real quick so this one is i again very very helpful especially when you're building um, complex applications you will need all of this to enhance the ui and the template much easy uh, very simple because you don't want to write the repetitive code again and again okay i have also covered ng4 uh, earlier but i am writing angular 16 code but just to make you feel comfortable and faster okay of my object 
and it's of type key value value and in the list you can just write item dot key and you can then follow it up with item dot value all right uh, let me bring it to the top I don't know if you can see it or not <coughs> So again I'm moving it to the top just so that you can easily see it so you can see here key value pipes first one second second right so basically you are doing a key value uh, using the key value pipe these are all the different inbuilt pipes you have key value you have slice date uppercase lowercase currency decimal percentage JSON <coughs> all right so these are all the different pipes which are readily available as part of angular 17 for you to start using all right a quick recap date pipe you can use it to format a date value uppercase is to transform text to uppercase lowercase transforms text to lowercase currency formatting a number as currency decimal pipe is used to specify how many decimal places percent pipe is to format a number as a percentage JSON pipe to convert an object into a JSON display slice is to slice an uh, array and returns a subset of it key value pair transform an array into key value pairs right so I've covered all of this make sure that you go through them especially if you're a beginner make sure that you type all of it that I have typed again this is all for your learning make sure that you get exact output that you're seeing on my screen that's when your learning will be complete all right uh, that being said in the next episode I'm going to cover differences between pure pipe and impure pipe and then we will write our own impure pipe and then we'll write custom pipes as well I hope you're learning I hope you're finding it exciting I'm trying to cover everything that angular 17 has to offer to make you an expert in angular if you like my work and tutorials hit that subscribe button hit that like button also if you want you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash rtutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode